Okay, so I use paint.net for a lot of stuff. Um, I actually have Adobe Photoshop, but um, there's a time I didn't, and paint.net does a lot of the things that Photoshop um, does. Not everything, but a lot. So I want to show you um, how to remove background from images. There is a quick and easy way to do this online using PicMonkey, but it, it's more for rounded edges and it, it might take um, a little bit longer. If you have something like a solid background, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, unfor unfortunately, paint.net, you do have to download. So I am looking to an alternative um, for doing this online and I will record a video if I do figure out that, uh, find out that that other app works. But for now, this is paint.net. You can't go to paint.net or paint.net.com. Um, it's actually a different link, but if you go to sociallynina.com slash paint.net, I have a direct link there. So it is free. Yay. We Just love something freebies. real quick. Um, when you go to sociallynina.com slash paint.net, it will take you here. Um, I wanted to show you so you don't click on the wrong thing. There's a bunch of things on the page that you could download. Um, don't worry about any of them. You just want to come down to this area and then click on the download now and then install it. You don't need the documentation or any of these other things. Okay, let's get back to the video. Um, and I just opened this by going to file open. All my recent items are there. Um, if you have multiple items, they're at the top. If you don't have any of these toolbars open um, at the top on the right, you'll see that um, you can show toolbars there. Um, there's different layers. We're not gonna go into everything, but I'm just gonna show you really quick how to remove the background from with a solid color. I'm going to come over here to this um, wand here. And if you have multiple colors um, in the background. You can use your tolerance and play around with it. But since this is a solid, I simply have to click one time, hit my delete key. Okay, so now it's a PDF. If I want to add a new background, I can add another layer. Um, on your right hand side, you'll see layers and click the plus. If the layers isn't here, again, it was in the top right hand corner. But um, this layer is on top. I would want to put it in the back and you could upload a picture or you can for just for sake of time. I'm going to use this um, shape and I can just pull it in the background. Different colors. So um, you can actually use the paint dumper. So there's a lot of different um, features here, but for me, I just wanted to oh now it's catching up i just wanted to um delete the background so i'm gonna delete this layer um there's also a history over here so if you do something on accident you can undo it or redo it but now i'm gonna save it i'm just gonna do file save as one thing to note is that when you save it you can, um, this one's going to be a default as a JPEG, but if you created a brand new document, it may default to paint.net, the PDN, and that's not really recognized by other apps, so you want to make sure and choose, select the right one. For a transparent background, you always want to save it as PNG. If you don't, the background will be white. Okay, so this will be banner. And you click on save and that's it. You just click on OK. Um, just leave all of this as, as default. Press OK. And it's saving it. It may ask you to collapse the layers, but in, in general, you're done and you can close the document. OK, hope you enjoyed that. Hey, so did you like that video? If so, please like and subscribe. If anything didn't make sense or you have a question still, go ahead and leave your comments below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Again, like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. Mm -hmm.